What are you doing at my clubhouse? Y y your clubhouse? This is our clubhouse! Well, it was yours, and now it's mine. And mine. And mine. That's not fair, Babs. We never did anything to you. And let's keep it that way. Now scram, cry babies. <laughs> Babs has really gone too far this time. Kicked out of our own clubhouse. In my own bed. Seriously? Super seriously. We need to talk to Applejack. <laughs> No! Rarity? No! Twilight? No, no, no! We need to fight back! Yeah! Fight back! How are we gonna do that? I'm making her the guest of honor in the Summer Harvest Parade! Yeah! Wait, what? <laughs> when you look up embarrassed in the dictionary, her face will be there! Are those from the carousel we'll take? Yep, excellent. Ooh! Luster dust from Sugar Cube Corner. They use it for decorating cakes. That must be what Rarity uses on her emergency edible boots. The gears and bands for the moving mechanism, my tools and stuff. Did you bring the thing from the place? What's that? Granny Smith's kitchen timer. What's that for? You'll see. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's get to it. We only got a few hours before morning, and this thing has to look so good, Babs won't be able to resist wanting to ride in it. before Babs finds us. Cutie Mark Crusaders, oh! Oh, Carrot Great! Get him here, get him hot! Your sister had the appetite of a full-grown stallion. Better get twice as much honey and flour, then. Fifty more buckets of apples, more oil, wood for the fire. Now, stick an apple in my mouth and roast my rump. This one sure brings back memories. You know how Babs is your favorite cousin? Well, Apple Rose is mine. The two of us entered the seven-legged race every reunion. We're gonna win this one, cousin. You bet your hot diggity dairy air we are! Come on, cousin! Speed her on up! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> Never won a single one of them races. Races. We'll need cloth ties, finish line, not much to a seven-legged race. Hmm. And, of course, we can't forget to take the big family photo. We always snap the photo in front of the barn at the end of every reunion. Let's us see how our families grow. Photo in front of the barn. Got it. You sure have some great memories of these reunions, don't you? Indeedy, and I'm looking forward to making more of this one. Oh, I'm sure every pony is, and I do mean every pony. We got the whole family together this time round. Who knows if they'll all be able to make the next one? That's true. Busy as every pony's lives are getting these days, chances are pretty slim will be this lucky next time round. Don't worry, Granny. I'm gonna make sure this is the most memorable reunion we've ever had. I better get started. I've got some planning to do. Oh, hoot, Nanny. Would you look what your second cousin is wearing on her head? <laughs> ah. Apple Bloom, what are you doing up? I was going to ask you the same thing. I can't sleep. My gears are turning in my head about this reunion. Yeah, I can't wait to see my cousin Babs. We're gonna do so many fun things together. Fun? Oh, that's just the beginning of it. Granny Smith handed me the reins of this reunion, and I'm gonna make the most of it. Apple Bloom, I've got so many things planned, you won't even have a minute's rest. Oh. Trust me, little sis. This reunion I'm putting together is gonna be worth the wait. <laughs> and stupidest ideas of all time. Are y'all okay? Yeah, we're fine. No sweat. After I've been so mean to you, you saved me. Uh, about that. I don't get it. I swore it all happened. You pushed me out just when the float was about to head into the lake. Except we were the reason it was headed into the lake. We booby-trapped the float. You see, Bibs, we were trying to get you back for being a big bully. Then Applejack told us about how you were being bullied back in Manhattan. And we figured out you were just doing it to avoid getting picked on in Ponyville. But by then, we were the ones being bullied. And... Oh, why does life have to be so ironic? Guess what we're trying to say is... We're sorry. I'm sorry, too. <sighs> you know, this all could have been avoided if y'all just came to me in the very beginning. That's what I kept on saying. So, can we start over? Definitely, yeah.
chums? <clears throat> well, you wrote this. Oh, uh, yeah. Homegirl, amiga, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, here. And fellow cutie Mark Crusader. You are solemnly sworn in here this day in witness of your fellow sisters, friends, confidants, possum buddies, compadres. Congratulations. Got to remember to revise that. <laughs> <laughs> So you promised you're gonna start our main hint and branch of the Cutie Mark Crusaders, right? Yeah, and I promise to keep talking to my big sis about the teasing back home. Good. And if you have any problems, we've got your back too, you hear? So you're leaving, huh? Great! Now we're stuck here with these lame blank blanks. <laughs> hey, that's not how you talk to my friends. <laughs> friends? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Well, what if I do? What are you gonna do about it? Tell your mothers about your bad attitudes. I'm sure gonna miss that bad seed. Bad seed? I thought y'all were friends now. No, see, First we called her Bad Seed, as in actually a bad seed, but now she's bad as in good. Get it? Yeah. No. Okay, everybody get comfortable. Because I'm about to tell you the best story you ever heard. Is it about the time when Rarity had wings, and then they got ruined, and then you saved her from plummeting to her doom? Okay, maybe it's the second best story you ever heard but probably still the scariest. You like scary stories, right? <gasps> mm -hmm. It all happened on a night just like this one. In a forest just like this. And then the olden pony asked, who's got my rusty horseshoe? Not me. Hugo! <clears throat> Something in my throat. I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> Good story. Knew you wouldn't be scared. <laughs> Way you jumped that cart the other day, you're like me. Fearless. Yeah, fearless. <laughs> Don't worry. Rarity is here to keep you safe and sound. <sighs> Think it's about time for me to hit the straw. Don't you worry, little sis. There's no olden pony in our tent. Uh, that sure was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> How they were all afraid of the olden pony, <laughs> but not me. <laughs> That's because you're tough, just like when I was your age. Ah! I'm hitting the sack. Come in whenever you feel like it. It's, it's nothing, just my imagination. And that isn't the thundering stomp of the olden pony. Oh, 
water bug in here? <sighs> I don't know about you, but I slept like a filly. Best night ever. Glad you rested up, because we've got a long trek ahead. Totally gonna be worth it when we get to Winsome Falls. Yeah, totally. <gasps> Am I sweating? <gasps> I think I'm sweating! Oh, uh, but it's absolutely worth it to get to spend time with my little sister. It's just that this cart feels like it's getting heavier all the time! Are you sure this isn't overdoing? You said to make myself at home while you were gone, but I wouldn't want to overstep my bounds. I did say that, so if this makes you more comfortable, by all means, please feel free. Oh, well, it does very much so. You're so very kind, my dear Fluttershy. I always knew that you were the understanding one, not like those nasty friends of yours. <gasps> my friends are nasty! Well, of course you'd say that. It just goes to show how understanding you truly are. You know, I think Princess Celestia is right when she singles you out as the one who could reform me. You're off to such a good start, I'm seriously considering actually being reformed. Fluttershy! Fluttershy, can you hear me? Goodness, I hear Twilight! Fluttershy! What's going on? Are you okay? We're fine. Everything's going great. Isn't it, Angel? We've come to get you away from Discord. He's just terrible and, from the looks of it, completely out of control. Oh, but you're wrong. We're making great progress. Seriously? Seriously? I'm earning his trust by giving him a little space to be himself. Hate to break it to you, but he used that space to be himself to tear out all the reforming spells from the library. That does explain the paper eating. He ate them? <sighs> but we aren't gonna need a spell. He's already really considering being reformed. He said so. And you believed him? If I'm going to be his friend, I have to start by giving him the benefit of the doubt. Tell you what, bring all the ponies over for a dinner party this evening, and I'll bet his manners will have really improved by then. I'll even get him to put the cottage back on the ground first. <sighs> all right, dinner it is. Ugh, I can't believe we're having a dinner party with Discord. This evening is sure to be a disaster. Glad I didn't bother wearing my fanciest outfit. Fluttershy thinks this is the way to reform Discord and ask us to give it a chance. Oh, our pony guests. We are so delighted that you've come. Please do come in. See what a beautiful job you did helping? Discord set the entire table himself. I'm so proud. May I take your... <clears throat> Hats, ladies? Hang on to your elements, girls. It's gonna be a bumpy night. As you all know, Princess Celestia hoped we'd help Discord use his magic for good instead of evil. Pinkie Pie, care for some gravy? You bet! Allow me. <laughs> oh, what a cute little greedy folks you are! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! One creepy little gravy boat, if you ask me. Oh, come on now, Dashy. You're not even giving this a chance. <laughs> hey, that's what? Oops, uh, well, I'm so sorry. He did that on purpose. Oh, uh, well, I don't know about that. Mistakes happen. Oh, look, every pony dancing candle. I'm not falling for that. Discord's just trying to distract us from. <laughs> Hey! Knock it off! I suppose that's another mistake. No, I think you just made them mad. There's something fishy going on. Discord? Well, it's hardly my fault if the soup terrine finds the term something fishy to be offensive. Not the dress. Not the dress! That terrine's only doing what you're making it do. It's a twister!
I remember you. But what are you all doing here? We wanted to bring you a care package. Didn't realize you'd be in the middle of some crazy tornado drill. That was awesome! Awesome? My friends could have been smashed to pieces. Yeah, but they weren't, right? I can't say the same for the clouds. We totally wiped them out with that tornado. The other cadets will have to be up there for days to bust as many as we did. A hoof bump? Seriously? You made me clip my wing. You sent half of our class into serious tailspins on the obstacle course. You unleashed a tornado that nearly demolished my friends! Yeah. And? And I get that you want to be the best. So do I. But you're going about it in the wrong way. The Wonderbolts don't seem to think so. After all, Spitfire did make me the leader and you the wing pony. You're right. She did. This better be important. You're supposed to be up there busting clouds with your partner. We're done with that, ma'am. Already? That's an Academy record. Explain your methods. That's why I'm here, ma'am. Lightning Dust decided to use a tornado. A bit excessive for cloud busting, but judging from your time, it was obviously an effective tactic. Yeah, well, that effective tactic nearly took out my friends. No disrespect, ma'am, but there's a big difference between pushing yourself as hard as you can and just being reckless. And if being reckless is what gets rewarded around here, if that's what it means to be a Wonderbolt, then I don't want any part of it. What are you saying, newbie? I quit. You did what? Being a Wonderbolt was your dream. Not anymore. I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash. I know how much this meant to you. Rainbow Dash! How dare you storm out of my office without giving me a chance to respond? The Wonderbolts are looking for the best flyers in Equestria. But you were right. Being the best should never come at the expense of our fellow ponies. It's not just about pushing ourselves. It's about pushing ourselves in the right direction. You've shown that you're capable of doing just that. You're no wing pony, Rainbow Dash. You're a leader. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Miss Harshwini, the Equestria Games Inspector, aren't you? Inspector what now? We got the wrong pony? No! I mean, yeah! Oh, please still be here. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. There's got to be another pony with flower print luggage around here somewhere. <laughs> Except that there isn't. We've got to find her before Cadence finds out what a mess we've made of things. Okay, here's what we do. We split the Empire up into five sectors. Each of us search a sector. Well, except for the spa. What's the point of checking there? That's where Cadence is. If Miss Harshwini is there, well, then game over, right? <gasps> Every city and empire wants to host the Equestria Games. So I have to go through all the big phony baloney song and dance, though of course I'm never getting the real inside scoop. Oh, golly, I've been having a swell time since I got here. I'm actually thinking of extending my stay. And what exactly has made your visit so special? Oh, gosh, where to start? Oh, there she is. We're in luck! I don't think either of them knows yet that the other one's here! Wonderful news! Look! Princess Cadence better than new! Princess Cadence? So, this is where you've been! I will have you know this is by far the worst welcome I've had in all my years! I, I can't believe it! What was wrong with your welcome? There wasn't one! What is going on? Princess, 
We gave our welcome to the wrong pony. Left the right one waiting at the station and completely ruined everything. Cinnamon Bun? When I was a little filly, I wanted so badly for Cloudsdale to win the Equestria Games. But it didn't happen. So I thought I could make up for that disappointment by helping the Crystal Empire win the chance to host the games. But it looks like I ruined your chances instead. Not so fast, Speedy. I just finished hearing about how this pony was just treated to the warmest, funnest, most fabulous reception she ever had. Darn Tim! Courtesy of these fine ponies right here. Which, in my expert opinion, amounts to the first ever unvarnished, unrehearsed, and unbiased appraisal of a potential host of the Equestria Games. Which can only mean one thing. The next host of the Equestria Games is... The Crystal Empire! to help others get something you always wanted but never had. Almost as good as getting it yourself. Almost. We'll still be able to come back here and watch the games when they're played. You're right. That'll rock! Oh my goodness. All aboard! Huh. Bummer Spike get to miss out on all this. He would have had fun here. I'm sure he's having a great time watching all the critters back at home. Think he's still got a handle on things? <sighs> if he's staying calm and collected, I bet he's doing a terrific job as a leader. You all hear that? So you can do an age spell, big deal. That's... that's impossible! That's nothing! Duplication spell. Ever see one pony play ten instruments? This, this can't be! Ooh, one more. I can turn a mare into a stallion. Trixie, looks like my amulet is more powerful than yours. Hey, give it back! <laughs> With this amulet, I shall now rule all of Equestria! <laughs> <laughs> Witness, my subjects! Gaze upon an ever greater and powerfuler Trixie! <laughs> Need that old alicorn amulet. I have this. <laughs> Stop it! That, that, that tickles. <laughs> tickles? That was supposed to make you writhe in agony. This amulet is defective. Give mine back. Sorry. This is going back into hiding where it belongs. By the way, Trixie, the amulet around your neck—it's one of Zakora's doorstops. But, uh, how did you do those spells? No pony can do those spells! You're right. Not even me. Sakura taught me so much about magic while I was in exile. She even taught me when not to use it. My magic alone wasn't powerful enough to take on the Alicorn Amulet head-to-head. -head. So I needed to use a different kind of magic. The magic of friendship. I also knew that the only pony who could get the amulet off your neck was you. But what about the pony with the ten instruments? That's not magic. That was just Pinkie Pie. least 
I could do. I treated you and your friends so horribly when I was wearing that alicorn amulet. I just couldn't control myself. You can forgive me, can't you? Hmm. Sure. Oh, good. Don't you think the great, unapologetic Trixie is the most magnificent humble pony you've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs>